So yesterday I made a quick video talking about what is anathema to America and these lefties. And I want you to listen to what Tucker points out about this grotesque interloper, another Eastern European who comes to America with his Bolshevik underpinnings and is head of the Dallas Federal Reserve. And now you go back to the book of Exodus and you will find out that this game plan has been employed since the time of Moses. Slaves, okay? And in Egypt, they were known as Hyksos. It's where the word Hick comes from. And I invite you to understand words and names and times and dates. Go back to Moses. Ever, ever since the beginning, this was the game plan. Storing of grain, creating a federal reserve, which did what? Drove the price up of food and made Pharaoh rich. And his appointed um, regents of finance, okay, were all foreigners, okay? And that's what this Kaplan guy is. And they don't believe in nations. They believe in communism for you, and they capitalize on, on slave labor, ergo they are the ultimate predator capitalists. So if you think things are mutually exclusive, such as capitalism versus communism, you have to understand it's what the Oriental mind always understood with the yin and the yang. The field of white has a seed of black. The field of black has the seed of white. And what we think are opposite logics are not necessarily so. It just matters where you are on the wheel. So if you're at the bottom of the food chain and you are vulnerable to interloping illegal aliens who could subjugate your pay scale, take your job, and threaten your culture and society... Well, too effing bad. While people like the Pope and Congressman Pelosi and the Schumers and the kings of Europe when the Muslims invaded, they live behind their castle walls and without an ounce of empathy for the little people, you could get butchered. You could get sold into slavery. You could lose everything you worked your whole life for. It doesn't matter to them. And if you want to know where globalism really lives and dies, read about the Battle of Visby on the island of Gotsland off the coast of Sweden. And in the 15, 1400s, it was a capitalist powerhouse, this little walled city where all the commerce of Europe would gather, just like today in Brussels. And the surrounding natives were butchered by Saxon and Danish mercenaries. And you know what the people did in the walled city? They locked them out and let them die. It's the biggest archaeological discovery of dead militia and soldiers ever found in one place, over 1,500. Butchered so brutally, because all they were were Swedish farmers, left to fend off Saxon Dane killers. That's globalism. You get to die. You get to starve. We get to sit knee-deep in guilt. Not guilt. Guilt. So listen to Tucker. ...puts a lot of stress on services, public schools, for example. It definitely depresses wages, especially for vulnerable workers. It drives up inequality. Dallas Federal Reserve President Robert Kaplan, meanwhile, has a message for Americans, the majority, who think that way. And the message is tough. Kaplan told us recently that America, in fact, must have more immigration, period. And we're quoting now. If you think you're actually going to cut the number of immigrants, Kaplan said, and grow GDP, those two things do not go together. You need to grow the workforce, end quote. Hear that? He's telling you, you don't live in a country where happiness is influenced by things like social harmony or equality, definitely by equality. Or upward or mobility. You live instead, and this is how our ruling class feels, in an economy. You live in a place where the only thing that matters is GDP, and it must go up always and forever. 
or else growth is what matters. And just like in Egypt, they were willing to let people starve to death so as to keep the price of grain in their storehouses more precious. And that grain was sold to foreign countries for gold and weapons of war to increase their power, wealth, and insanity. This guy Kaplan is a descendant of the Rothschilds, which means red shield. It has nothing to do with children. Roth in German is red, and shield is the red star of David, which was their moniker. And the only way to drive up GDP forever is to import more workers who will work for less. Investing in Americans who've fallen out of the workforce or helping American parents have more children is way too hard. F them. The citizens don't matter. That's their position. Actual voters have a very different view. In fact, nobody in history has ever voted to turn their country into a GDP calculation. The least don't care, though. They're not for elections anyway. So, whatever. And this is why the Bidens and the Clintons and the Bushies, they're all really on the same team. And that's why they all hate Donald Trump. Because Trump... He's naive enough to believe in you, a citizen, a nation, sovereignty, freedom, upward mobility, a growing economy for everyone, without regard to political affiliation, class, race, ethnicity, or religion. But they accuse him of being a racist, because that's what they are. And their ultimate racial hatred is against middle-class Americans, whether you be Christian, Jew, Muslim, American Indian, they don't care. If you're about America, they hate your guts. They're globalists. They're sharks. They need to be destroyed.